Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Big My Beard Wisdom. So have you ever been to the store and thought, boy, that's a lot of different types of wipers? And then even within the same brand, how do you know which ones to go with? So today, we're going to take a look at Trico Golds, Trico Whites, which is their winter wiper blade, Rainex Latitude, and Rainex's new Truck and SUV Rugged Series. And it's one of those things where snows are coming, so... One of these is actually a set of winter wiper blades made by Trico that I really want to give a shot because ever since we went to like a beam style blade in a lot of ways, the old style wipers with the hinges and stuff like that where you would just have that wrapped in rubber was the old winter style. So that's what's really interesting to me with these because essentially it's a beam style blade that's meant for winter. So... How is that different than normal beam style? Well, let's find out. So I ordered a whole bunch of wiper blades for three different cars. And it was kind of one of those things where I kind of bounced around a little bit as to which brands I went with and which tier I went with as well. So on these here, these are Trico Golds. And Trico is a brand that's been around for a while. It's one that I don't really hold in super high regard. I would way, 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 way rather run Rain-X than Trico. But, you know, they're kind of growing in the market, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I ordered these four as kits. So it was basically a 26 by 18 and a 26 by 15 that were sold as sets on Amazon. And I thought, hey, this is great. You know, I should be able to figure this out pretty easy. It came in these two boxes that are identical boxes. So you really had no idea as to which one's which. Except for the boxes are joined. And inside each one is one shorter blade than the other. <laughs> so if I had, say, ordered them for... The Escalator, something like that, which is what I ordered in the rain -Xs, those are 22-inch blades. So those would have been way more easy to see, okay, these are different blades. But these here are the winter ones. So the Trico White blades. They're a little bit different when you look at them than the Trico Golds. And Trico has a bunch of different tiers. The Golds more like a upper mid tier and stuff like that but they go quite a ways up including what i'm assuming is their highest is this trico silicone ceramic i did pick one of these up just to kind of compare it against these two as well but for the most part let's compare the 26 inch ones because these two are essentially the same length and then in the body format they're much different so the gold on this back section here, you can see it's got, whether you want to call it like an airfoil or a spoiler or something like that, but it's got a wind deflector shaped like that. So, depending on how it swipes, it should be applied pressure to help keep it into the windshield and stuff like that and not lift. This winter one here, it's made much flatter. And something like this reminds me way more of like the old style winter wiper blades where they would be covered up with like a rubber section. That way it would protect the hinges and stuff like that. But these are just purely beams. So the fact it's kind of set up like that, it's kind of interesting. I'm assuming maybe there's a little bit extra strength in there. It does feel a little bit stiffer when you go to press it down. And then up here, a little bit different attaching. So you can see this one's got that open section there and then the open section that says Trico there, while the gold, it's just kind of like this solid textured looking piece. And then if we were to look at the blades themselves, the gold is on the top, the winter one's on the bottom. You can see the blades themselves are relatively similar in say length. So how tall they sit, or how far that arrowhead kind of looking section extends. But the winter one is really kind of skinny where it goes up inside. Whereas this one looks quite wider. And then the white ones are actually going on to my Sonata. They use just a simple J-hook. So what it has here should work and snap right in. These 
are going on the G8. So these will need an adapter to try and go on. And now let's take a quick peek at the Trico silicone ceramic one. This is kind of interesting. So with the silicone ceramic beam blade, it's UV and ozone resistant. So it should be one of those situations where it should be pretty decent, repels water and ice, and three times longer life. So I don't know if that means three times longer life than the golds. They also have higher level ones, or maybe three times longer life than the winter ones. But in looking at this blade, it is much different as far as like the spoiler section goes than these other two. So on this one, you can see its spoiler is all the way across in one direction. So a little bit more similar to like the ramp where it's got a heavy ramp on the winter blade and then just a short little ramp on the backside and much different than the twin spoilers, kind of like a front and back spoiler, evenly split on the standard golds. So much different spoiler as far as that goes. The actual attachment area is a little bit different as well because that has this built up section here as well. So that'll be kind of interesting. I'm hoping it won't interfere with any of the arms. So, you know, if you've got a wide arm attachment, it may wind up hitting there. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Then the blade itself seems to be pretty similar to the other two as far as, like, the arrowhead type section. But it looks much more like the gold in terms of the width of rubber. So, this is the gold one, which seems to be the widest one so far. This is the carbon ceramic one. Looks a little bit skinnier at that top section. And then here's the winter one, which, I mean, maybe the winter one actually has a wider arrowhead than this one does. And about a similar sized, like, back section that actually attaches up and into the wiper. And then here's a set of Rain-X Latitudes that are already on my Sonata. So they've been on for pretty much all the summertime. They've done pretty well. They've got a little bit of wear to them, but not much. So like if you tug on the rubber here, they're fine. But it's just one of those things where, you know, if you've got a older set of wiper blades, don't tug on that arrowhead section here unless you are ready to replace them. Because if you start tugging on that, sometimes that comes up and just goes zoop, and all of a sudden you don't have a wiper anymore. <laughs> And to remove the Rain-X one, all you have to do is pop this top. I see. And it might have ice in it because it's snowing. <laughs> so, couldn't get those wiper blades a minute too late. So, I'll just use a little screwdriver, pop that section up. And then this should slide back and come off. And then there's the J-hook style. So, now trico just got to make sure that you've got the j-hook going the right way so right there you've got the curve section so this will go on just like this that snapped up that's in place we'll go ahead and we'll pull this off that way it doesn't have that little cover and really you probably should like wipe off this area down here but I'm not going to and there we go that's all nice and installed good and tight not going anywhere and it'll be interesting to see how that winds up doing over the winter time with that spoiler it kind of lines up here so that does face forward so you know that should apply a little bit extra force downward the Rain-X one you can see is kind of like the gold ones and stuff like that where it's got like the spoiler on both sides and I've got the short side installed as well. I always recommend giving it a forward and backward shake pretty good. That way you're able to see that that's on there good and tight. Because especially in the winter time, if the blade gets iced to the windshield, so that it's pretty much stuck there, and it goes to work the motor, you don't want to be snapping this off at the most inconvenient time. Whereas if something's going on, so if maybe there's not enough glue or there's an issue with how this is mounted or something like that. It happens to you now while you're installing it, as opposed to later 
when you know you needed that wiper <laughs> the g8 uses this style of an arm so you're supposed to remove what's on there already so you remove the j-hook style and then you install this style that has like the b and the c and then the easiest thing i found is to put a screwdriver underneath here that way you're able to kind of like push this forward once that goes forward you can kind of lift c up and out so all i did was i just kind of slipped that screwdriver in there that way this section here popped up and then you're able to get this off of there and now this is all good to go ready to be installed onto the wiper and then used as the attachment for that style and the directions in the wipers are a little bit different for like the trico silicone ceramic one and the golds because the golds you've got that little button you push down on the ceramic one you've got two little tabs one right there and one right there that you push down and then looking here it does kind of show that they show hooking in that back section rocking it forward and then putting that top part in as a lock sort of all right so here we're looking at the g8 i'm not 100 percent sure what brand this one is that's already on the g8 so they don't really have anything outwardly advertising it so kind of like how on like the winter for the white trichos it kind of said trico on the side there that you're going to see whenever you're in the car and stuff like that once this gets that side removed and stuff like that, you don't see anything on this one. Plus, this one was just like that solid, like that matte textured plastic. So, you've got no idea that these are Trico's, golds. But you can see this one with the dual spoilers. This one here had kind of a spoiler setup. So, a little bit of a spoiler here. Not really much of a spoiler on the back side. For this style wiper blade, you just kind of squeeze back here. This should slide down and then lift off, just like that. So you got the finger there and then you got the two catches in the back. Okay, so this is so close. It's just driving me nuts. Like it's not quite sharp enough of an angle to clear this hook section here. So where that's a little bit extra flat on that one spot. So yeah, I guess now you can kind of see why I don't like trichos. <laughs> now we just got to install this back onto the wiper blade. So then we'll be done. Hopefully. <laughs> That's all good. It's in place. Nice and sturdy. The G8's actually in storage, so I'm not even going to remove that white section yet. I'm going to leave that on for now. I don't know what it's really doing as far as protection, but, I mean, it's inside a garage and stuff like that, so it shouldn't be getting any kind of UV rays. should be protected. <sighs> now for the other side. So, I'm honestly kind of hoping that this side is a little bit different and it's a little bit easier to do. So real quick, we'll just squeeze the bottom section, remove that off the top, nice and easy. This is the ceramic one. Oops, which I still need to remove that C section from. Trico's design, be it on the gold or on this one, the carbon ceramic is pretty much the same. So that little hook is designed to go past where it goes in and then hook back. So I'm gonna do like what I did with the other side, get this snapped in place and then snap the wiper onto here because this is a big pain in the butt to try and get this to line up because whoever made these didn't leave quite enough space between that shoulder that it stops at and where this is supposed to be sliding up and through. Meanwhile, you look at the style that came off, it's just a simple hook up there. You've got your shoulder that it stops at and then these little tabs here just go straight up and in. And then that angle there is designed to keep it in place so you don't have to do anything weird like what's going on with the trichos. Got that in? Still 
a giant pain in the butt. <laughs> so with how that hooks and reaches around like that, there just isn't quite enough space in between where that hook goes through and that. So it might be one of those things where this being like an Australian car, maybe these are a little bit different. So then Buick Enclaves and maybe the Traverse might have something similar in terms of wiper blades as these. But, I mean, Jesus, this was not fun. <laughs> Plus, I'm used to having this covered up, not having like the finger kind of showing out to the world. So, you know, take that as an aesthetic thing. <laughs> but the carbon ceramic one, you can kind of see. So that's on there, and you got the big old spoiler facing towards the rear. So that should be catching wind. As soon as the wiper comes up, it should keep planted against the windshield nice and easy. You know, how much of a big difference that makes, I don't know. I can tell you with the old style uh, frame ones with the hinges and stuff like that, I might have had a car where you get lift at a certain speed. <laughs> so I do recognize the need occasionally for the spoilers on them and stuff like that. But the gold with the spoiler on both sides, that one's probably more than fine. And it doesn't matter if it's going this way or the other way because some wipers go this way as opposed to all wipers going this way. And then back in the Sonata, and I always like running the sprayers. Just to kind of make sure that everything's all good and done. So everything's good and tight. And honestly, what I would recommend is just going with Raynex Latitudes. So about the same price on Amazon if you want to buy in a kit and stuff like that. They can be a little bit different, you know, by the sizes. So these are 22s. These will be going on the Escalade. So same as a Tahoe, same as a GMC Yukon, probably same as like a Sierra Silverado. And then I bought one of these. To compare it against, it's the Rain-X truck and SUV one, and it's supposed to be graphene-treated, rugged weather tough. <laughs> so, in just looking at it, it does look like it's kind of like the gold Trico stepping up to that like carbon ceramic one. So, seems like a little bit of differences. As you can see, this one here is the truck and SUV one. It's got a pretty big spoiler that goes to the side, and then there's the wear indicator. On here, they show peel off or remove that sticker to reveal the black dot. Black dot will turn yellow when it's time to change your wiper blades. Change blades when you see the yellow dot. And then this has a pretty big spoiler on the one side, and then flat on the other side. So this does kind of remind me a little bit of say that trico white and then here's the standard latitude so the latitude ones you've got the spoiler on both sides this installs really easy on j-hooks which is what the suv is so winter time is probably the crappiest time to be changing wiper blades <laughs> but you can kind of see here's these bosch icons I've had these on this truck for years. They've been really, really good. I was really surprised they lasted as long as they have. So, let's see. Just gotta try and figure out how they come off again. Looks like that upper section comes off and then this gets split. So this is pretty simple J-hooks. Just a little weird to take off sometimes. But yeah, these Bosch icons have been awesome, but they've finally wore out. You can kind of see, they've got this single-sided spoiler, kind of like the other ones do. And, I mean, if I had known these were going to last this long, I probably would buy them more often. But, if you look at the cost of a pair of Bosch Icons, they are pricey. So, it's one of those things where you spend a lot now, and then maybe you get a good run out of them. Maybe you don't. So, I've only had this one set. And again, this lasted a couple years. So... You know, pretty decent in my eyes. And when I bought these, I still worked for Bosch. So, you know, I got them at a discount. So, you know, it was why not buy them. <laughs> but these are just simple J-hooks. The truck and SUV ones, a little bit complicated. I guess in terms of how you want to pop this up. 
but on a J hook, you just kind of push this side. It looks almost like a wheel, but it's not. It's just the, the cover. You push this in on both sides, and then this should flip up. So just like that. So that flips up. And then you end up hooking it right around there and then flipping this back down. So in that goes, you slide it down, snap her down, she's in. All good to go, everything's tight. Got to remove this sticker to see if this thing works. Where's the sticker? There it is, found it. There we go. And there's the little black disc that I'm assuming, you know, as it gets more sunlight, winds up turning yellow. So nice and easy, simple install. Spoilers going the right way for this particular wiper blade. And then the passenger side is getting just your standard Rain X Latitude. So hopefully in a couple months we'll be able to figure out how much the other one outlasts this one. Then for the J-hook, all you have to do is pop this section up here, flip it forward like that, hook it into the J-hook, and then flip it back down. So that's all good and on, nice and sturdy. If you've noticed, I've left the yellow on at the moment because I got to clear the windshield off really good and then run it for a little bit. This, both the latitudes and the other one does come with like the um, Rain-X compound on them. So it'll wind up putting that on your windshield for you as you go. So all in all, I mean, for me, I go Rain-X because they're local as far as like I'm able to pick them up at most local places and stuff like that. The Trico's are available as well, but you know, I've never really liked the Trico's that much. And now that I ordered these off of Amazon, in the Amazon box, these were in their actual like containers and stuff like that, like they could find the stores. So, I mean, you know, this is kind of nice. The Trico's on the other hand, there's nothing that says Trico white or Trico gold on these. So, yeah, kind of weird. The only thing that's even on here is essentially just saying that this is like a 26 inch wiper and a 15 inch wiper, and that this was a 26 inch wiper and an 18 inch wiper, if you can kind of think about that for a minute. So, for me, I would go Renix all the way. But if I had, say, a discount on a set of Bosch icons, whoo, whole different story. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll check you next time.